Hello everyone. I hope you guys are doing good. In this video, I will share my Fulbright interview experience. I took my Fulbright interview back in 2014 in Pakistan. I already have one of my short videos on Fulbright interview experience where I shared uh, my top five tips. But in this video, I will share my Fulbright interview experience more comprehensively. So stay tuned with me. Those who don't know me, I am Mohsin. I won Fulbright back in 2014 and went to US in 2015 at Iowa State University. I finished my PhD in 2019 and came back. And uh, last year, I started working as a data science fellow at University of Exeter and the Alan Turing Institute in London. I often or continuously I make videos and talk about Fulbright scholarship and other career opportunities and data science. So if you want to learn about these topics and things, uh, do follow me. I'm quite active on other social media platforms as well. At first, I will talk about the timeline. I applied for Fulbright on, in May 2014 and I have mentioned the exact date that is 14th of May 2014 and this deadline is basically quite uh, consistent each year uh, Fulbright opens in February in Pakistan and the deadline is usually in mid May each year so I applied in May 2014 and received an interview call on 2nd of September 2014 and my interview was scheduled on 12th of September for preparation first and most important thing that i did was i comprehensively reviewed my application i reviewed everything line by line that i have written in my application including my biographical information my future research interests my plan after returning back from the us my personal statement study research objectives and everything that i have mentioned in my fulbright application Besides that, uh, I was lucky enough to have one of my colleagues with whom I had a productive discussion on everything that I have written in my Fulbright application. So I simply printed out two copies of my application, one that I reviewed and one that I gave him. I gave him like one or two days, I remember. And once he has reviewed, so we had a fruitful discussion where it was not like a mock interview, but it was just like a discussion where he asked me questions and I tried to answer. So it was a kind of brain teaser and I found it very fruitful. So if you got a call and if you got this opportunity, uh, try this. Besides that, I also had prepared for some generic questions like uh, introduce yourself, why you want to go to US, etc. and etc. And at that time, we had a Facebook group uh, based in Pakistan where a Fulbright aspirants or applicants, uh, they were quite active and they used to share the questions uh, they were being asked on, the, on their interviews. So I noted down those questions and prepared my answers for them. So that was quite helpful. But I think nowadays uh, that group is almost dead. So maybe student and I, I haven't seen I st I'm still a member of that group but I haven't seen any question or any post related to Fulbright in that group but back in 2014 13 15 till that time it was quite active now we'll talk about the dress code uh, I went in business attire so I recommend you guys if you guys uh, are going to any interview never underestimate that always wear a business dress Okay, on the interview day, basically uh, I appeared for Fulbright interview in Islamabad, that is the capital city of Pakistan. So those who are already in Pakistan or Pakistani citizens, they know it very well that Fulbright interview happens in Islamabad, in the United States Educational Foundation Pakistan in their office. So although like uh, my city is quite far away, it was like six to seven hours uh, continuous uh, travel, but I was on time. After uh, reporting there, uh, we went through a security clearance where they, I think, took our wallets and any metallic objects or phones, but they just like permitted uh, the documents that we can carry during the interview. So there were many other uh, Fulbright uh, 
interviewees that day as well uh, who had applied and they got the same date so they took everybody to waiting area uh, where they offered us like coffee and biscuits so it was quite like quite friendly environment and uh, one thing that i was not sure about uh, the interview day it was like they asked us for to write two essays and the time was about like 2 minutes maximum and uh, i barely remember but i knew the ideas that was one of the essays was about inflation in pakistan and the other essay was about the geopolitics of pakistan it was a very quick call and uh, they didn't ask to sit like make your positions like we do in examination halls we were just like informally sitting on chairs or like other places uh but suddenly they appeared with these papers and they asked us to write like essays on uh in 2 minutes so whatever came to our mind everybody actually wrote that and then uh, once they collected those essays back so then they started calling for interview so every time they bring like two to three people in a separate room that was again like a small room for a waiting area uh so that was a kind of like schedule or scene there okay the interview room uh, it was quite big and very spacious so in the panel there were four members two were americans a male and a female and two pakistanis both of them were male that day uh there were other people who were also sitting in in the corners actually maybe they can be psychologists or some other moderators but i remember there were maximum three other peoples so total like maybe seven to eight people they were in the room interview questions uh the thing actually that struck me most or amazed me most was there were no conventional or generic questions like introduce yourself why you want to study in the us why should we select you so they just like asked field specific questions and what i have written in my application my interview lasted for barely 15 between 15 to 20 minutes you know like when you are sitting in a tight environment and this kind of situation time flies actually overall uh the americans were very friendly and smiling upon my responses and my answers to their questions but pakistanis were they were not rude but they were not impressive i found them and that make me actually worried after the interview but everything went well so there were notable questions uh like one of the f- first questions that they asked me was what will you do upon your return and frankly i was not expecting this question from them because i thought that maybe they will ask me about introduce yourself or uh, something like that but all of the sudden the first question that i encountered was what will you do upon your return so keep these kind of questions ready uh they can ask them any time and at any point so i answered because i was well prepared for that and then while answering at some point i mentioned that the technologies that i will learn and uh, then they quickly asked like how will you implement this technology in the us that you will learn in the us in your country what kind of challenges and uh, that you will find its implementation and if there are any challenges how you will overcome those challenges there were some questions about my study research objectives like what is the impact of climate change on crops and diseases in pakistan and uh, why you want to study the impact of climate change on plant diseases and why from the us because uh, one of the pakistani interviewer he mentioned that some pakistani universities are already doing this research so why don't you collaborate with them so that was quite like a solid point that if already a kind of work is being done in your country then why you want to do the same work in the us or in a foreign country so be prepared i gave them solid reasons uh, that in pakistan collaboration is not like uh, that easy like in us or other like advanced countries and uh, the people who are doing this research they are might be from other regions not from punjab 
at that time so it's hard to collaborate with them and my field is entirely different i study plant diseases they might be studying like crops or agriculture in general or other aspects of climate change but i want to study its impact on pathogens and the expertise are at this point available only in the united states so i think that was a solid point for them and uh, again one of the member actually he insisted that the technology is already present i think at some point he mentioned that he also leading one of the remote sensing and gis project in pakistan and then again he asked me like why you want to go us so they can be forceful and they can maybe like ask again and again to learn from you that why or do you have any solid reason if you want to go to us and conduct the research you are interested in so be prepared for that and then besides these questions there were some interesting questions as well for example in one of my essay i wrote pakistan is geopolitically important country in the region and the american interviewer so he pointed out that uh, why you wrote this question that's a very forceful statement why pakistan is important and uh, my response was because it was a short time and i was not expecting this essay so maybe i want you to write like is one of the important country but not the important so and he made a point that uh, not i do only but mostly like people or students in pakistan they use these kind of forceful statements and once i will go to us the education will make me like soft and uh, i will avoid like these statements in future another interesting question that here the american interviewer asked me to share a joke because in my personal statement or in some other essays i guess i mentioned that i used to participate in comedy uh, comic dramas in university so i think he noted it from those essays so he asked me to like make them laugh or share a joke at that point i was not expecting this but then i tried my best actually at first uh, they didn't understand what i'm saying but the second time i tried again after taking like off for a few seconds so and then they suddenly laugh i'm not sure whether they still understood at that point but at least like all of the four panel members actually they laugh at once so some other general questions like how you will manage in the us and how you will represent your country so i said again like the kind of activities i do here uh, i will continue doing like participating in different events presenting my country my culture etc and etc so these were the questions and uh, my answers uh, to some of these points again so now i will share uh, the tips i have for you guys if you are appearing for a fulbright interview first and most important thing review your application because they will ask questions based on your statements be natural uh, don't fake anything they are more experienced than you so don't even try to fake never plagiarize anything in your application us has a strict policy about plagiarism at any point if they caught you that you have done plagiarism in your application they can cancel your status and the same policy goes for american universities be confident uh, stay positive try your best and then rest leave on god actually that was all from my side so all the best and if you have any question please let me know uh, i will try to answer your questions and do mention those in comments and i'm quite like uh, active and actively reply to the questions if students ask me any uh, in my videos so have a good day and all the best